Welcome to our lesson on rationalizing denominators. So before we begin, we need to understand what an irrational number is. And if we looked at the square root of 2, and we wrote this as a decimal, we get 1.414213562. And if our calculator to display was long enough, we would see that this decimal would never terminate and it would never repeat. So because of this, the square root of 2 is an irrational number. However, not all square roots are irrational. If we looked at the square root of 16, we know this is 4. And because this terminates in the units column, this is a rational number. And not all decimals are irrational. If we looked at 0.125, we know this terminates in the thousandths column. So this is again rational and if we looked at 0 0.3 recurring the 3 would go on forever but it is rational because it can be written as a fraction and not all irrational numbers are square or cube roots if we looked at the number pi as a decimal this is 3.14159265456 and again, this number never terminates and it never repeats. So for this reason, it is an irrational number. So irrational numbers are those which never terminate and never repeat and cannot be written as a fraction in its exact form. So for this lesson, we're going to look at rationalizing a denominator. So that means when we have a denominator of a fraction, take the example of question A, one of root two, well, this is currently irrational, this denominator. So we're going to make this denominator irrational. We can do this by multiplying the numerator and denominator by root two, because in effect, we're actually multiplying it by one. And when we work out the numerator, we have one multiplied by root two, which is root two. And for our denominator, we have root two multiplied by itself, which is root two squared. And we know that the square and the square root will cancel. So now we have the square root of 2 divided by 2. Our denominator is now rational. Okay, let's move on to question B. So for question B, we're going to rationalize the denominator of root 3. And to do this, we're going to multiply the fraction by 1, which we will write as root 3 over root 3. And when we multiply out the numerator, we have 1 times root 3, which is root 3. And in our denominator, we have root 3 multiplied by itself, which is squared. The square and the square root will cancel. So we have root 3 over 3. We have now made the denominator rational. Do you want to try and rationalize the denominator in question C and simplify the result? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So the question C, we have 2 over the square root of 8. So we'll rationalize the denominator by multiplying the numerator and denominator by root 8. For our numerator, we now have 2 root 8. And our denominator, we have root 8 squared. We know these will cancel. So we're left with 2 root 8 over 8. And now we're going to simplify this third. There's a link to the video in the description below on simplifying thirds. The square root of 8 can be written as root 4, root 2. We know the square root of 4 is 2, so this becomes 2, root 2. We'll put this back into our numerator in place of root 8. So we have 2 lots of root 8, which is 2, root 2. And this is a multiply of 8. We can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 4. So this becomes root 2 over 2. OK, let's move on to question D. So we'll begin by multiplying the numerator and denominator by root 6. So this becomes root 6 multiplied by root 3, lots of 1 plus root 2, over root 6 squared. These will cancel. The square root of 6 multiplied by the square root of 3. 
becomes the square root of 18. And we can simplify root 18 as root 2 root 9, which is 3 root 2. Because the square root of 9 is 3. We'll put this back into the numerator. So we have 3 root 2 lots of 1 plus root 2 over 6. I can simplify this fraction to divide both by 3. So now we have root 2 lots of 1 plus root 2 over 2. And finally, I'll expand this bracket out. So we have root 2 plus root 2 squared, which is 2, over 2. Okay, do you want to try and rationalize the denominator in question E, and then simplify the result? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. And finally, for question E, we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 3. So we have root 3 lots of 5 minus root 2 over root 3 squared. And these will cancel. And we'll like bend out with brackets in the numerator. So we have 5 root 3 minus root 3 root 2 which is the square root of 6 over 3. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.